If hobby boxes are the Doc Brown of Mosaic, then retail has to be Biff Tannen. Judging by the past versions of Mosaic retail, it probably should have taken the meathead's cue and faded out of existence. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? But it didn't. It's back. And it may or may not have an almanac. Did I just rhyme? I did. <laughs> Let's rip some aces. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Hoxbox here. Today's video, we got a brand new release to check out. It's a retail release. Hobby came out a little over a week ago, and retail came out just last week. So we're going to be opening and reviewing 2023-24 Mosaic Basketball Blaster Boxes. Do I like Mosaic? Yes. However, historically, Mosaic has been, at least retail, a pretty bland product. It just kind of delivered the same old parallels over and over and over again. The question is, did these improve like every other 2023 retail basketball release? The answer is yes, they did. But did they improve enough to justify you spending your hard-earned dollars on these? We're going to find out and attempt to answer that question. First, I want you guys to know I have a giveaway going on for the month of August. To enter, just be a subscriber. And on any August video, like that video, leave a comment. Every video gets you one entry into the giveaway. Details are in the description below. All right, so these improved. What exactly improved? Let's go over the product details. These blaster boxes are going to run you about $35 a box. Each box contains six six card packs. Expect to find four prisms per box on average. Mosaic consists of a 300 card base set divided into 200 vets, 50 rookies, 20 rookie debuts, 20 city edition, and 10 NBA greats. Base parallels to chase include the popular short print Genesis, as well as silver, mosaic, and mosaic green. Base numbered cards to find are the all new red seismic numbered to 299 and orange fluorescent numbered to 25. The inserts are headlined by the case hits stained glass and micro mosaic and come in base versions only. More common insert sets include Thunder Road, Elevate, Give and Go, Jam Masters, and Epic Performers. Parallels to find for these are Mosaic, Mosaic Green, and Orange Fluorescent, numbered to 25. Look for scripts and rookie scripts autographs in base versions, and Gold Parallels, numbered to 10. All right, so let's dive into this and rip and see what we can get. And hopefully we get to see some of the, at least a red seismic. Obviously, the short print case hits would be fantastic to see, but we didn't. But we're not really counting on that. I'm not going to lie to you. Mosaic retail in previous years has just been bad. I mean, really, really bad. Well, if I'm going to disappear into nothing, I might as well bang my mom. Hey, Lorraine, wait up. Historically bad. If you've ripped it, you know it. I've reviewed it on... Previous years on other videos, it's just not, hasn't been a great product because you're going to see a lot of uh, greens, silvers, mosaics. It's always just been a lot of the same, but at least this year we have something new to chase, chase after. So if you haven't seen my hobby review or you haven't seen a review, this is the base. Um, you either like mosaic or you don't. That's entirely up to you. I like it. I like the design. Miles Turner and our green. Amari Bailey on the rookie. And if you saw um, a hobby, these greens look very similar to the new hobby teal version. These are not numbered to 75. They're just greens. Um, I wish I had one to compare, but I don't. Maybe I'll throw uh, or splice a clip in to show the comparison. But it might be hard to tell. A little bit, but there's a green. Put that over there. Give and go of LaMelo Ball. And an NBA great. One of my favorite players of all time. Not a great human being, but a great player. Car Malone. All right, so that's pack one. We'll try to pick it up a bit. Um, but they did make positive improvements this year for sure. The new Red Seismic is a welcome addition. What do we got here? Ooh, we got a. Do we have an auto? Maybe a numbered card. LeBron. 
Victorian Prince will pull from the back. Another, it's a, an Amari Bailey kind of pack. Pull from the back again. Rookie card. Oh, there we go. Epic performers of Victor Wembenyama. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Victor, epic performers. Not numbered, just the base mosaic, mosaic silver, whatever you want to call it. It's not the greatest nomenclature for a parallel when to name it after the actual product. So we got an auto here. Mosaic Scripps BAS. Bassey? Charles Bassey? I called it Charles Bassey. I'm getting good at this. Harry, my name's Marty. I'm in a picture. From the Spurs, Charles Bassey. On the auto. I mean, hey, it's an autograph. And anytime you get an autograph out of retail, that's just like a, a super bonus, right? So there we go. Go here. Go here. So not too bad first box. Not too bad first box. Yes. Hucks Bucks make fire. English hard. Okay. Well, this first box has been a success. I would say anything after that is gravy. So we're all aboard the gravy train. Grayson Allen. Everybody's favorite guy. I'm sure he's a great hang. NBA debut, Anthony Black. But as I was saying before that second pack of rudely interrupted us, there are improvements. The red seismic, it adds, it's, you would think is reasonably attainable. I don't know, I'd probably say like one in every five boxes maybe. Um, I haven't watched enough case breaks or anything of this stuff. Kobe White on the green. You're going to see a lot of greens. Luca on the Epic Performers. And Orion Rupert. Rahan Rupert. I know it's Rupert, not Rupert. I know that much. He's French. And then, of course, the biggest improvement is adding in stained glass and micro mosaic. Micro mosaic is, of course, new man. Look at that print line. Woo. Hang like slave of wizard. Huh. Jeez. Uh, micro mosaic uh, is new for this year. And uh, it was in Hobby. Stained glass has always been. Ooh, we'll take that. A Luca on the green. Epic performers. We'll take that. That's sleeve worthy. And stained glass has always been Hobby only. But, so it's good to see it made its way into retail this year. It was very cool. So they made they definitely made improvements. Cam Johnson, our Mosaic Silver, DeAndre Ayton, and Jordan Hawkins on the True Rookie. All right, box two. Hopefully you can be as good as box one. So yeah, definitely great to see, you know, case hit inserts into Mosaic for the first time, I think, ever. Yeah, there weren't any in. Yeah, it's the first time ever. That mosaic retail has had a like a case hit aside from genesis i mean a case hit insert all right let's keep it rolling I like how the packs open i'm not gonna lie there jimmy butler al horford amen thompson on the green not bad at all halliburton on the epic performers and a keontae george rookie We'll take that Amen Thompson. Of course, Mosaic singles, not the most desirable in the world. But definitely at the bottom of the Chromium sets. Hayward, who was recently retired. Trey Murphy, who I think is going to have a great year. Give and go, Ja Morant. And a City Edition, Brandon Miller. We'll sleeve that up. So far, so good. Love to see a red seismic. Got an auto. I'd like to see. I'd be interested to see what the red seismic looks like for mosaic. Because in what Prism it was like the uh the pulsar. Benedict Matherin. 
on the green. And a Jalen Hood Shafino rookie. Optic. They had size looks in optic, right? Yeah, they did. For some reason, I can't remember what they looked like exactly. Herder, Jalen Johnson, Miles Bridges, no longer on the Hornets. Jam Masters. So this is this year's Jam Masters. Not nearly as cartoonish as previous years. That might be a plus for you. It might be a negative. I kind of like the giant heads. NBA Jam ish. Green. Jokic on the Thunder Road. This is new, I believe. Thunder Road. Thunder Lane used to be in Mosaic, and then it moved over to Select. So they're shuffling the inserts around and creating new ones. Just to confuse us. As if I need any help with that. I do not. Siakam. Ooh, we got a red seismic. Cool. We get to see one. LeBron on the City Edition. We get to see a red seismic. Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm going to read your thoughts. Imani Bates would be the rookie we want. It is a rookie. I can't think of another Cavalier rookie other than a Bates. Oh, but Mosaic tells us otherwise. Craig Porter Jr. Red Seismic. It's like a lava consistency be damned so that is numbered out at 80 98 out of 299 craig porter jr i don't know much about the guy don't know anything about the guy but hey a good game there november 19th of 2024 all right so box two was also delivered something so this is pretty good i'll have my full review at the end of course and as you may or may not know, if you're a viewer of the channel, you do know that my reviews um, are not based on what I pull from these three boxes or five boxes or ten boxes. It is, uh, I write up my reviews prior to even touching these. I do watch some openings, so I have some idea, but you can get a pretty good idea of a product without even opening it. Oliver Maxence Prosper. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Thunder Road Kawhi. Fun Guy Kawhi and Cam Whitmore on the rookie. But these have been pretty good boxes, I will say. For, for a second I thought, oh! <gasps> Dude, do we have a micro mosaic? I think that might be, or that's a, or is it a Genesis? I'm not sure exactly what that is, because mosaic is going to be wonky. But I think that's either a micro mosaic. Hey, look at that, Victor on the NBA debut. Boom shakalaka. Get up there. I don't know what this is what is this i am so confused jam masters was i wrong i was so wrong what oh this is just okay psych i psyched myself out got myself pumped up just a mosaic parallel non-numbered of jam masters man it looks pretty sweet not numbered i like how that looks i like that card i'm gonna give it a sleeve i like it so much i'm gonna put it up there because i pumped you up so much i gotta put you up there you gotta stand behind you i got your back vince okay man that would have been epic if that was a micro mosaic threw me off because i didn't i like i know what the micro mosaic looks like in football uh, not so much in here. Clay Thompson. Still on the Golden State Warriors. At least according to Mosaic. Case and Wallace. He's obviously not. He is a Dallas Maverick. 
And there's his former splash brother, Tyrese, Isaiah Stewart, our green, Obi Toppin, be a poppin, and a Steph on the City Edition. Two more packs to go. Two more packs. And of course, after the rip, we got our financial breakdown and our full review. A review you won't get anywhere else. That's a good looking card. Elevate, Green Mosaic, Jason Tatum. Monty Bates. We'll give that a sleeve. I like that card. It's a nice little color match. Tatum gets no love. And him not playing in the Olympics didn't help. All right, last pack. But we're not done with the video yet. Can we go out with a bang? Ooh, we got another red seismic. Okay. I can't imagine these are coming out at that kind of clip. I finally invent something that works. Like one every other box. Dallas Mavericks. Ooh, be a Luca. Be a lively. Be a Luca. Be a Luca. You're not a Luca. PJ Washington Jr. on the red seismic. That is encouraging that we got two numbered cards out of three boxes. But it could also be incredibly lucky. Hard to tell. I'll put this on stage. Even though I'm going to take it right off in just a second. So I'm going to clean all this up. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to do my recap, financial breakdown, and full review. See you on the other side. All right, so let's go over our recap review. What we pulled. These were our base. These were our inserts. These were our rookies. This was our color. Not great hits, but... Plenty of color out of these boxes. A couple inserts that Jam Masters that totally faked me out. Tatum was pretty nice. The Luca, Ja, two rookie greens. Not great rookies, but two rookie greens. And these were our better than average pulls, I will say. Um, Brand, uh, Brandon Miller, City Edition. Amen Thompson on the green. True rookie. We got a Victor NBA debut base. We got two numbered cards, a P.J. Washington Jr., Red Seismic, out of 299. Got a rookie, you know you've never heard of him, Craig Porter Jr., on the Red Seismic, to 299. We got an auto, a Charles Bassey, for the Spurs. His teammate behind, Victor Wimbenyama, on the Epic Performers Mosaic Parallel rookie card. Probably our best pull, and definitely might be gradable. I like to see that that is not a, color, a colored back, for sure. So that is possibly off to the upgrade shop. Now let's go over the box financials. Now we're going to compare this to the hobby box. And this is just to show what you're paying per card. How much you have to spend to get a non-numbered card, a numbered card, etc. At least from these openings. I will preface all this by saying these three blaster boxes were probably well above average in what you're going to pull. We got two numbered cards and an auto. Don't expect that. We got something out of every box. First wave theory? Maybe. So for the Blasters, they're $35 a box. You get three boxes, that's $105 spent. Hobby was $425. For total number of cards, you're going to see on a per-cost basis. If you just want to put a set together, then the Blaster boxes are the way to go. Inserts, same deal. But you're not going to get the same type of inserts from Hobby to retail. So that's hard to comp. For non-numbered parallels, you would expect retail to win. And it did. It's much cheaper for non-numbered parallels in retail. But numbered parallels, the blaster boxes eked it out. But again, I wouldn't expect to see this typically to see two numbered cards out of three boxes on a typical pull. I would expect more out of one numbered card out of every five boxes, maybe. For rookies, it was definitely cheaper to go the blaster route. And autos, again, blasters were exceptional at 105. And for hits, again, the blasters take it on a per cost basis. So the winner should clearly be Blasters, yes. From this rip to Hobby, I would absolutely give it to them. But overall, you should definitely be buying Hobby if you have the money to spend over these Blasters. So I'm giving Hobby the win. All right, let's move on over to our final review. For Fun Factor, I'm going to give this a 2.5 out of 5. Mosaic gives you a lot. I'll give it that. 
Mostly, it's a lot of non-numbered parallels and base inserts. It's something. A box or two is a good time, but it can quickly grow stale. For 2023, you do have an elevated sense of a chase. The semi-realistic shot at pulling a red seismic, coupled with the ultra-slim possibility at an orange fluorescent or super short print case hit, gives it a little bit more juice than previous years. For value, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5. $30 a box last year was a tough ask. $35 a box for 2023 is an even tougher ask. Despite the improvements made, I have a difficult time squaring the price tag with the contents. This rip aside. There is a pretty fantastic ceiling opportunity with these. Imagine hitting a Wemby orange fluorescent, a stained glass or micro mosaic. I think that holds true with almost every 2023 set. The more likely scenario, of course, is a bottomless floor filled with silvers and greens of guys you don't want. We've all been there with Mosaic Retail, and quite frankly, it can be an empty feeling. For format, I'm going to give this a 2.5 out of 5 aces. It's great to see Panini finally adding in some variety into Mosaic Retail. Previous year's offerings were downright anemic. Now, with a new numbered parallel and two case hit inserts, it adds an element that was sorely, sorely lacking. While I commend the improvements, I can't help but feel Panini could have gone one step further. One extra number card and a short print non-numbered parallel could have made Mosaic Blaster Boxes a truly great product. And for collectability, giving this a 2 out of 5. To repeat what I said in my hobby review, Mosaic sits at the bottom of the four big Chromium sets Panini offers. The singles market isn't nearly as liquid as Prism, Optic, or Select. There is a niche set of collectors out there that adore Mosaic but it still leans towards shorter print parallels. Mosaic Retail has a hard time delivering the type of collectible cards the hobby wants these days. And for my overall final rating, I'm going to give this a 2.25 out of 5 aces. Panini definitely made some great improvements to Mosaic Retail, but it desperately, desperately needed it. 2022, 2021 offerings were just bad. You can still find 2022 sitting on your local shelf at Walmart because no one wants to buy it. Is this a better buy? While this is certainly a better product than 2022, it also increased in price by $5. To me, that somewhat negates the improvements that they made. Mosaic was out of line price-wise last year, and it's out of line again this year. But that seems to be the direction the hobby is headed. Let me know what you think about Mosaic retail, Mosaic in general. And if you guys did like this video, and you'd like to help support the channel, consider subscribing. At the very least, hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel out tremendously, more than you know. I do want to thank you guys for watching, spending even just a minute of your time with me today. Till next time, peace.